How's it going guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use a graphic controller overlay on top of your gameplay. So that means when you're playing a game such as Rocket League, Fortnite, I don't know, whatever game you like to play, you'll see your controller as a graphical element over your gameplay. And you can do this with an OBS and Streamlabs OBS. All you're going to need is, of course, your PlayStation 5 controller in addition to having a Windows computer. It can be a desktop, it can be a laptop. As long as you can put a USB port or some adapter even between the controller through the USB-C cable that you might have to the computer, you'll be set to go. If you go down to the description of this video, you'll find four different links to four different PlayStation 5 gamepad controller variants that you can use for graphical overlays. So there's some different colors here from black to white. Also the X circles, triangles, squares. Those are color weighed in a couple of these variants as well. So they look very cool. Gotta give a quick shout out to Just A Cupcake. He was actually the person that put these PlayStation 5 game pads together. So big thanks to you, man, because without you, I wouldn't be able to show everyone on my channel how this works. So once you've decided which PS5 game pad you wanna go with, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. What you're gonna wanna do is go up to the URL at the top, and you're gonna to wanna to copy that. So do control C or right click and copy, whichever works for you. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to your OBS software. And the next thing you wanna do is within one of your scenes, preferably probably over your gameplay source, you're gonna to wanna to go and select the plus button. Then you're gonna to wanna to go all the way up to browser. That's the kind of source you're gonna to wanna to add. Name it, whatever you want. We'll name mine PS5 controller. We'll select okay. And then right here where it says URL, in this slot right here, this is where you're gonna to wanna to paste in that link that we just copied. There it is. And then next at the width and the height, we're gonna adjust these to 900 and then for the height, 700. So that way, none of the components of the controller get cut off at the top or on the sides. After you've done that, go ahead and select OK. You'll see the controller up here. And then you can just resize it, move it around wherever you'd like to have it. And there you go. It looks like you're done, but you're actually not. <laughs> if you start pressing some of the controls, you'll see that they don't line up, like they don't match. So some of them do, but some of them don't. Like I'm pressing X, but it thinks I press circle on the gamepad overlay. So what's the fix for this? We're going to need to download the program called DualShock 4 Windows. You'll be downloading it off of GitHub. You should see a page that looks like this. You'll be able to go to download now. And then you'll see within this repository, version 2.2.6, that's what it is currently. For me, it was easiest to download the zip folder here. There are a couple different versions of the DualShock 4 Windows tool out there. So I linked the correct one in this video. So follow that one. So now that I have my zip downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and extract all the files. All right, and here are my extracted files. I'm gonna click on the DualShock 4 Windows folder. And then I'm just gonna to wanna to select the application, this rainbow looking icon. Double click that and that will launch the software. It'll say, you know, Windows trying to protect your PC. Go ahead and run this anyways. I promise you, this is not a virus. <laughs> When you first launch this tool, you will be prompted to install the drivers. So please make sure that you do that. Don't click out of them, install the drivers successfully. And after you're done doing that, you can go ahead and restart your computer. Once you're all back up and running, go ahead and launch the DualShock 4 Windows program. You should see your DualSense PlayStation 5 controller connected via USB to the computer. So if you see this, that means that your controller is detected and that this program is working with your controller. And now when I launch OBS back up, my controls are working exactly as they should. My triangle, my square. If for some reason the buttons are still not working the way that they should, you can go ahead and restart OBS and it should work after that. So at this point, most of you guys should be good to go, but some of you guys out there might have an issue with your controller now not working with the PlayStation 5 console. Like you're, you're pressing the buttons, and it looks like the PlayStation 5 controller is connected to the console, but it's really not. 
So what you're gonna wanna do to fix this issue is to hold down the PlayStation Home button and the Create button at the same time. That will turn your PlayStation 5 controller off. Now take that USB-C cable, USB-A to USB-C, plug this into your console and then turn the controller back on. Now you can see within my OBS that my controller is functional with the console again, but now we need to make it work with the graphical overlay. So now all we have to do is just plug the PlayStation 5 controller back into the computer. Make sure the DualShock software is running. Go ahead and give OBS another restart. And boom, it's working. As you can see, you see that the buttons are working as I'm moving them. If I go to play, see how I just press X, moving from side to side, circle for back, triangle. It's working exactly as it should, the thumbsticks as well. So there you guys have it. That is how you get your PlayStation 5 graphical controller overlaid on top of your gameplay. I hope this tutorial helped you out guys. If it did, make sure you hit the video with the big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content just like this. In addition, I do have a Discord. You guys are free to join. We can chat and hang out, all that good stuff, as well as my socials, all linked in the description below. But I'm gonna leave it there guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.